Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mandy. It is Vlogmas Day 5. I hope you guys are enjoying all of the daily videos. It's been fun, but it's been a lot of work. So please give them thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know that you're enjoying them. Um, I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but I didn't realize how much work. So I definitely have a new respect for those daily vloggers, <laughs> big time. I have had a lot of new subscribers and I thank you very much for subscribing. So I thought today I would do just a quick little um, 10 facts about myself and I wrote them down. So if you see me looking down, that's I'm looking at my list that I actually used an envelope to write them on because I couldn't find my tablet of paper. I have post-it notes in the junk drawer in the kitchen, but I can't ever keep things like that in there because Isabella likes to get them and take off with them. Let's get started. So number one, I am originally from Kentucky. I now live in Florida. I've been down here New Year's Day of 2019 will actually make 19 years. So I love it. Um, the summers are not always fun because it's very hot but I don't think I would ever move back to Kentucky because I can't handle the cold. <laughs> and I think, I don't know if I could handle living in the mountains anymore after being on flat ground and uh, just having open land and everything. I don't know if I could go back to that being enclosed feeling. So the joke is now that both of my legs are the same length because in Kentucky, you know, you're standing on a hill or a mountain, you gotta be <laughs> lopsided. <laughs> so my legs are the same length now, so I couldn't go back to Kentucky. <laughs> All right, so number two, I am 40 years old. I just turned 40 this past July of 2018, and that was not fun. I. I don't like saying that I'm 40. Um, when I turned 20, that was a hard one because I wasn't a teenager anymore. When I turned 30, that one was okay. I was pregnant with Isabella. I was okay with it. 30 didn't bother me at all. 40, I don't know. I guess maybe because it's kind of like right around that midlife crisis age. I don't know, but I don't feel like I'm 40. Um, I don't feel like I look like I'm 40. I, I hope not, so don't leave me any comments saying that I look like I'm 50 or something. <laughs> I mean, there are some days that I feel like I'm 80, but 40 was a hard age for me to turn. So hopefully 50 will be okay. I don't know, I don't even, oh, the thought of turning 50. I don't like that. <laughs> So number three, I work in the home health field doing physical therapy. I've been a therapist for 15 years now and I love almost every minute of it. It's just like with any other job, there's pros, there's cons. I've worked in the home health field probably a good 10 years maybe, um, nine or 10 years around that. Before the home health field, I worked in the hospitals and I did nursing homes as well and the home health field is definitely my favorite, especially with having kids. I can kind of set my own schedule. If the kids are having an event at school, I can schedule my patients around that, and so it just works out really good for me. Number four, I am terrified of driving in the rain. When I was 18 years old, I had a really bad car accident in the rain, totally my fault, it was only me, just my car, thank goodness. Um, I was actually on my way to see my granny and it started getting dark and this was in Kentucky. It was getting dark and I didn't wanna have to drive back home in the dark because I had to go over a really big mountain and this particular mountain had curves that we called them kiss your rear end goodbye curves because it literally was like doing a U-shape almost. So I turned around and I started going back home. My parents had already moved to Florida. So I was on my own in Kentucky, 18 years old. And I turned around 
and I do tend to have a lead foot. So I was driving probably about 70, 75 miles per hour. Um, like I said, totally my fault. My back tires were slick. I mean, there was like hardly no tread on them at all. And I was working as a waitress, so I couldn't really afford to go out and buy new tires at the time. And I drove into the rain and I started hydroplaning. And all I remember after that, I remember feeling the car turning. I went on, off the side of the road. I did a couple of donuts. I remember I had big college books in the back of the car and they were coming up hitting me in the head. And I remember hitting my, the side of my head on the, pat, or the driver's window, the car door window. That's all I remember. Um, I did have my seatbelt on. I'm a firm believer in seatbelts. And when I came to or woke up or whatever, I don't know if I blacked out or if my brain just won't let me remember. I don't know. The brain is an amazing part of the body. But this elderly couple had pulled over to wait for me to be finished having this car accident and to make sure I was okay. And they were telling me what happened. After I did the, the donuts, I finally started going straight, but then there was a big metal road sign and I hit that head on. And when I did that, it, I mean, it just completely put a V shape in my bumper, my front bumper. And when I hit that, and again, this is going by completely what they told me. When I hit that, it flipped my car around. I went airborne, jumped over a driveway, and landed on the other side of the driveway on the side of the hill. How I am still sitting here today telling you this story, I don't know, but I guess I had a guardian angel watching over me or something that day. Um, and I don't remember any of that part. I landed so hard, both axles on the car broke. The car had a sunroof. The whole entire frame of the car was twisted and I had a huge gap in the sunroof from where the frame was twisted. And the part that really stinks is just like maybe two weeks before that, because like I said, I was living on my own in an apartment. I had a roommate, but I was a waitress and um, in college and I could not afford full coverage insurance. And I wasn't about to ask my parents for help because I wanted to prove that I was an adult, you know, being stubborn, but I wanted to prove I was an adult and I could make it on my own. So I changed my full coverage insurance to liability. <laughs> so it didn't cover much at all. <laughs> so, so ever since that accident, I have been terrified of driving in the rain. And it's gotten better because in Florida, when it's rainy season, we just will have like a monsoon of rain and just out of nowhere for about 10 minutes and then it's gone. So that that's really scary for me. Like, I mean, I, I have so much anxiety when it starts raining, it's ridiculous. There have been times that I call my patients and say, hey, I gotta pull over, it's raining pretty hard. Um, I'll be there when I get there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it has gotten better, but I'm still terrified. All right, another thing that I'm scared of, which has gotten better, lizards. Yep, not big, huge lizards, but the little small lizards, um, they really scare me. <laughs> and Florida has a ton of them. So I've gotten better. They're just, you walk outside and they're just running and scattering everywhere. So I don't, I can't stand lizards. All right, number six, my favorite fast food restaurant is Zaxby's. I always get the traditional tongue torch wings, um, no fries, I, although I love their fries, but no fries. My favorite sit down restaurant is a tie between Chili's and Outback. If I'm going for a little bit cheaper of a meal, I'll go to Chili's, but if like for date night or something, um, I like to go to Outback. My favorite dessert, 
I love carbs. <laughs> so my favorite dessert is cake with buttercream icing. I love it. I could actually just sit and eat buttercream icing by itself. My number nine, my favorite holiday is Christmas. I love Christmas. I love the lights. I love the kids opening their presents. I love to shop for Christmas. It's just the greatest. And then number 10, this one is crazy and I hope y'all don't think I'm just absolutely nuts and stop watching my videos. <laughs> But number 10, I have a hair phobia. Yes, hair, like hair on your head. Um, I can't stand for it to be on my hands. I cannot stand, like when I'm washing my hair and it gets on my hands, I just, I can't wait for it to hurry up and get off of my fingers. Um, when I fix my hair and, you know, you pull it back to get the loose ends, I just hurry up and put them in the sink and then my husband has to gather them all up and put them in the garbage can because to put them in the garbage can myself I when I do this to get the loose hairs off I would have to hold them in my hand open the linen closet door pull out the garbage can put them in there that's just too long for them to be in my hand <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you all this oh my goodness but it is what it is. I don't know why. I don't like hair. I don't like dog hair on me. I don't like cat hair on me. I don't, I just don't like it. I can brush and fix the kids hair and stuff like that, but I can't stand it getting on my fingers, especially if it's wet. I just, I can't stand it. So if y'all ever want to freak me out, then get a big old pile of hair and put on me. <laughs> All right, so that's my 10 crazy facts about myself. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, I hope you don't think I'm totally nuts and quit watching my videos. Um, but if you did like this video, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to tap on the bell to receive notifications of when I upload videos. And I'll see you in the next one. And y'all, it is actually raining right now. It's pouring and I have to leave the house to go get Isabella. Not fun. Okay, bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.